When your computer is behaving strangely, System Restore lets you go back in time to before the troubles began. Windows 7 creates automatic restore points that return your PC to a point where you know it was working. To put in a restore point to use, first save any open files. Be really sure that you have done this, and then close all your programs. Now, from the Start menu, choose All Programs, weave your way through Accessories, System Tools, and click System Restore. If this is the first time you've been here, select Choose a Restore Point. If you've been here before, select Choose a Different Restore Point. Either way, Windows 7 lists the available restore points and highlights the most recent one for you to select. If you want to know what it'll change, click the Scan for Affected Programs link. System Restore lists the items you'll have to reinstall. Click Next, then click Finish. Your computer grumbles a bit and then restarts using those earlier settings that, hopefully, worked fine. Here's an important tip. Before you install any new program or toys, create a restore point, just in case the install goes badly. Here's how. Open the Start menu, right-click Computer, and choose Properties. From the System Windows left panel, click System Protection. Click the Create button. Type a name for your new restore point, and then click Create to save the restore point. You might want to create another restore point after you successfully install something. That will make it easier if you need to return to the restore point. If you return to a restore point before you installed some new hardware or software, those items might not work correctly. If your computer has a virus, it stands to reason that all your restore points will have the same virus too. That's why you should erase all restore points. Here's what you do. Click Start. Right-click Computer and choose Properties. Now choose System Protection. In the Protection Settings area, click the drive called C, System, and then click Configure. Click the Delete button, then click Continue. Click OK to close the window. After you update your antivirus program with the latest virus definitions, scan and disinfect your entire computer. Then create a new restore point named after the virus you just disinfected so you'll know that restore point is safe. Another trick that Windows 7 comes with is its Restore Previous Versions command. That comes in handy whenever you change a file and save it, only to realize that your original was much better. Thank goodness Windows 7 lets you retrieve those older versions of your files. Here's how. Right-click the file and choose Restore Previous Versions. Up pops a box listing all the previous versions of that file. Which file is the one you want? To take a quick peek at an older version, click its name and click Open. Windows 7 opens the file, and if it's the one you want, click the Restore button. Windows 7 warns you that restoring the old file deletes your existing file. If you're not quite sure which version you want, a better, safer alternative is to click the Copy button and copy the previous version to a different folder. Windows 7 also lets you return its settings to the way they were before you began changing them. Let's say you customized your Start menu or taskbar, lost a library folder, or clogged up your Internet Explorer with weird things. Don't worry. 
You can restore the original settings by using the Restore Default or Use Default buttons and links which are strategically placed throughout Windows 7. So go ahead, customize, play. With features like System Restore, Restore Previous Versions, and the Restore Default buttons, you can find your way back to the original settings.